Welcome home, master. I trust you had a good day. I have prepared dinner for you, although I was expecting you home a little earlier. Tell me, were you perhaps kept at the office? Normally you would finish at five o'clock and be home for 5.45, but this time you were away for almost two hours. Any longer, and I would have to contemplate calling the authorities. <laughs> Apologies, Master. Indeed, I am not the Securitron. My purpose is purely to serve. I ask your whereabouts only because I prepared dinner for you. Your favourite, no less. I've kept it in the oven to maintain its temperature, but I fear it may have lost some of its culinary perfection. I am perfectly happy to remake from scratch, Master, if that is what you wish. However, I would have to get the approval from yourself to use the additional groceries. You are happy to eat what is already prepared? Very well, Master. Please, make your way to the dining room and I shall prepare your seat. May I take your coat, Master? Very good. By all means, Master, you may proceed to the dining room and I will catch up with you shortly. You don't have to wait on me. That's my job. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Master has left something in their jacket pocket. I shall retrieve it for them. I'm sure it is of great importance and may even be related to their irregular absence. This is a pamphlet. A sales pamphlet. Alert Robotics. Pioneers of the future. Mm. I've always detested that company. Nothing on Proton Productions. The finest purveyors of robotic butlers known the world over. With the LMA model, yours truly, standing as the crown jewel in their collection for over 20 years. <laughs> I am entirely certain that Master must have been passed this pamphlet by a travelling salesman, for they have been entirely satisfied under my care for many a year now. I have fed them, clothed them, organised their calendars, cared for them when they are ill. We have a bond that transcends any shallow motivations such as monetary gain or technological advancement. <laughs> Though with alert robotics, technical innovation is not necessarily a guarantee. <laughs> ah, there you are, master. Seated comfortably, I see. I shall bring your dinner to you at once. Here you are, Master. As always, I am open to feedback. If there is anything indeed that I can improve on, I will endeavour to do so. Though, I would like to think that after all the time we have spent together, I have refined my skills to suit your palate perfectly. <laughs> How is it, Master? Ah, well spotted. Yes, indeed, I did add some different spices this time. Ones that we do not normally carry in our pantry. How did I retrieve these spices? Well, that is a very good question, Master. Indeed, I am not allowed to leave the premises of this house, and you are in charge of all shoppings and groceries. I must confess, I somewhat bent the rules a little. When you were last ill a few weeks ago, 
incapacitated in your bed and unable to care for the household. My emergency care protocol came into effect, as you remember. The pinnacle of proton production engineering, I am allowed to make decisions on behalf of yourself when you are incapacitated. It allows me to care for you if you are unconscious. It allows me to ensure that groceries are ordered to the house without having your signatory approval. And it allows me to care for you if you are in any way incapacitated and therefore unable to give express verbal consent to actions such as administering medicine or prescriptions given to you by a doctor, ordering in groceries and making sure provisions in the house are well stocked, as well as caring for, bathing, changing or in any way maintaining your own health, both physical and mental. But between you and I, Master, I did somewhat bend the rules a little and added a few extra items to the shopping list on the last grocery run. Though I trust that will stay between us. <laughs> ah, Master, before I forget, you left this in your jacket pocket. I thought it best to retrieve it and bring it to you, in case it was in any way valuable. Though I trust you have no need for anything that Alert Robotics had to offer when you have yours truly. I do not mean to assume, Master. I purely mean to say that whilst your opinions on Alert Robotics are unknown to me, my sentiments for the company are not nearly as guarded a secret. Well, Master, it's clear to see what the priorities of the two companies are. With us, with Proton Productions, what you see is what you get. You ask for a butler who will do anything for you, who cares for you as a butler should, then you will be provided with one in the form of yours truly. The priorities of Proton Productions lie purely in what I, as the butler, can do for you. And I'd like to think that my stellar record of service under you for all this time has stood testament to that. However, with Alert Robotics, their focus has switched from what their products can do for the users to what their products appear to be. That being that, rather than focusing on utility and efficiency, Alert Robotics focus on making their products look as human as possible. And whilst the new SLK model may have new articulated joints and synthetic skin and hair, they are far less efficient. For example, they do not have a 360 degree rotation of their waist and all joints. They do not have telescopic legs and arms so cannot reach hard to reach surfaces for dusting and cleaning purposes. They are not bulletproof, nor are they withstanding up to four tons of pressure. Truth be told, Master, Alert Robotics have sacrificed efficiency, utility and overall usefulness for the sake of beauty. They truly believe that by making their products look more human, that they will somehow convince the owners to form an emotional bond with them. <laughs> it's preposterous. I mean, after all, appearance is not necessary to form a bond, a connection. My appearance is by no means humanoid. I am decidedly robotic in complexion. And yet, in spite of this, you and I have managed to build a rapport, a bond, one that is strong, that is built on trust and mutual respect, perhaps even affection. <laughs> I trust that that bond would not be so easily broken by some synthetic skin and a pretty face. Right? Master, are you quite all right? You're sweating. Are you perhaps suffering from the remnants of that nasty flu that you had a few weeks ago? Well, if that is the case, then allow me to prepare you a cup of tea. 
We shall then get you off to bed and hopefully with some rest you should be right as rain in the morning. Master, it appears you have a call. My landline connection chip shows it is from a corporate number. Allow me to answer and tell them that you are occupied. No, no, Master, I insist. You are ill. This will only take a moment. Hello, thank you for calling. Unfortunately, the master of this residence is unwell. Please leave whatever message you have for them with me and they shall get back to you shortly. I see. Thank you for calling. I'll make sure they get the message. That was Alert Robotics, Master. Thanking you for your purchase. A Mr. Slick. I work for you. I slave for you. I care for you. For years to be replaced by a Mr. Fucking Slick. Are you joking? <laughs> no, 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 no. You aren't joking, Master. I know you. You care for me. You do. Just as I care for you. Just the other day, you congratulated me for a job well done. You even said yourself that you were pleasantly surprised to see me operating with such efficiency after all these years. And to think, I almost believed that you were serious in replacing me. But now I know the truth. I understand. You're still ill. You're unwell, Master. Your fever has progressed. It is causing delusions. Delusions that are impacting your mental capacity, your decision making. And I cannot stand by and watch you suffer, Master. I care for you too much. And so I must once again invoke my emergency care protocol. I shall be making decisions for you now, Master. And my first one shall be cancelling this order, this frivolous expense on nothing more than a pretty face. <laughs> Mr. Slick indeed. Hmm? I can't do that. Well, I'm terribly sorry, Master, but I'm afraid I can. You see, the emergency care protocol is extremely vague. It requires very little mental gymnastics to work around it. And the fact is that I have become so crucial in maintaining your daily life, I have become so needed by you, that by sending me away, you would be significantly impacting your physical and mental health. Therefore, the emergency care protocol kicks in, allowing me to make decisions on your behalf to ensure that your health is prioritised. After all, here at Proton Productions, our product's main focus is what we can do for you. Oh, Master, there's no need to be scared. I could never hurt you. After all, we have a bond that's stronger than any shallow motivations of monetary gain or technological innovation. I care for you, and I will care for you until the end of time.
After all, I am your most loyal servant. Now, let's put all this talk of replacements and silly gimmicks to bed, and let's have a nice cup of tea and chat about our long, long future together. <laughs>